It's the leader. He's the wizard. He's forcing the mouth open. Well, stop him. Kill him or something. My dagger is gone. You kill him. Not me. It's bad luck to kill a wizard. Wait. There's a better way to take care of a wizard. Hello, everybody. Got another episode. Um, gonna be honest. Don't didn't love it when I was done. I haven't listened to back, but uh, wasn't feeling the vibes. Didn't didn't think we did our best. So if uh, if you're a new listener, maybe just skip this one. I don't know. We, we didn't have a lot of agenda, and we just wanted to get together. And it's really a bunch of us just BS and I think about random topics. Um, but the other uh, <laughs> the other guys were like, dude, that's what we do. Post it. And then I was going to try to edit it a little bit. Yeah, you know, you can't polish a turret only too much, so so screw it. So if uh, if you're bored and looking for some old school content, then uh, there's a little bit of that dabbled in here. Um, our new uh, deck photo contest is coming out. Uh, we're going to try to base it around themes of movies. So we spend way too long down the rabbit hole of bad movies. Um, maybe, again, too much uh, visual content for a podcast, but hey, this is... This is how we do. So <laughs> I hope you all enjoy it. And uh, I hope you guys can uh, submit a photo for the deck photo contest. Think of a cool movie theme, uh, an infomercial, something. Uh, would love to see some creativity happen. And we'll try to get together some cool prizes for everybody. Um, forward to see it. Look forward to seeing some of you guys next weekend up at uh, Thrash Bash. So talk to you all soon. I'm going to show you how great I am. This was our final tower. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Hello. Yes, I, I, yeah, I, I, we were trying to get a little bit ready for Thrash. I still can't figure out my deck either. It's killing me. I got two, two ideas. Two fully deck, fully built decks, and I just can't decide which one to to play. I gotta figure it out so I can take a picture. I got a, I went a full um, mono black on one. I was trying to just do all creatures, as many possible creatures. Like, yeah, I've never really done it. Just like twenty seven creatures or whatever. Just full on assault, and I don't know. It's not very good. I don't know. No. Nah, then I realized I had to pull a few things, and I ended up with like four enchantments, and then hey, maybe I need a mox because all the strip mines and so a little bit off. Like mono colored prizes. Yeah, yeah, well, that seems to be a theme, so I'm definitely going mono color. So yeah, I was trying to keep the aggro up. I mean, it's a cool black deck. I do like it. It's it's got some things, but it just never wins a game. So then decided to. Uh, you know, in the movie Thrashing, when they burn the ramp down. So, like, if you can ramp to an inferno, that seems like a good plan. So, I got, like, a mono-red trash, like, burn down the skateboard ramp deck. But Eric says that also will never win a game. So, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if it matters. So, I got two losing decks, and uh, I just can't decide which one. I got to figure it out. I don't know what's more. Hesh. All red or all black. But... I would say there'll be a lot of black. Yeah, I think you're right. I think there's gonna be a ton of black decks and hymns and all that good stuff. I don't know. Just ramping to an inferno to tear the ramp to burn the ramp up just seems like a good idea. So it's on theme, I, I guess. I yeah, it's on theme. Thrashing, but it's on theme. I have not seen it yet. I thought we were watching last time. Anyhow. We, we watched parts of it. But yeah, yeah, you just gotta watch the clips and the, the videos and things. So. How about you, Steve? You've been, you've been gung-ho. You were down in uh, Tennessee playing? Yeah, still down here. I've been down here for a couple of weeks, but it's been all anti the last couple of weeks. I got two deck ideas for Thrash Bash, but haven't put anything together. It's kind of the weekend project. Nice. Yeah, well, that's what we played anti. Uh, Eric doesn't really have much of an anti deck. I'm like, oh, you got to play one. So I just I brought my entire backpack out and we just jammed games at lunch. It is super fun, man. I, I do love it. There's every deck feels really strong. I don't know. 
think so it's kind of a cool setup um, it's definitely cooler now because more and more of the like player community is actually getting involved with some anti and it's not so much like 40k all skin in the game deal it's you win some wild shit it's pretty good yeah so what um that's one of the things i guess we we're going to talk about is like the i don't know no one seemed to have a set plan in line for the thrash bash friday night like get together like yeah we'll play anti and i'm like they're like 45 formats of anti <laughs> so i don't know well we just kind of collectively uh hold together a format and i think everyone's going to use it because it's been it's pinned and uh, i personally like it i don't know but i don't think anyone's even done it's it's real close to cam wall's version because he he suggested uh the um apocalypse lands so that that gives the format all the duels essentially in pain land formats because you get the five from ice age and then you get the other five from apocalypse the yeah. battlefield forge and land of war waste and all that so that that really opens up the mana bases to do about anything which as i was going back through it i'd kind of built a lot of my decks just around the duels i had so i uh, I went on TCG and bought a boatload of those just to have them for di different decks. But there was a like a really strong green black deck that was that's going to help with the uh, land or waste in it and things like that. But were they playing uh, four strip down there, Steve? Uh, I'm not sure if everybody's on the four strip. I know there was a few that popped up, but I'm not even sure if they were like built for anti and they just played anti because we. <laughs> Kind of ended up playing for alters instead of antis. How does that work? Uh, more or less like, hey, I got some cards in this deck. I don't have replacements for yet. And uh, if you win the ante, I'll just alter you a card. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Where'd you guys play? Uh, there's a brewery here in Knoxville called XUL. It's a little local brewery. Pretty good place. Good food. Good Good drinks, good time. Oh yeah, man. How how much longer? I guess you're coming back next week. Is that the deal? Uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be in Ohio Friday and Saturday, and come back down here Sunday, and then I'll be headed to South Bend on Thursday of next week. So I'll kind of already be up in the area for the Thrash Bash. Yeah, it looks like we can get in until like four o'clock, so you'll probably just beat us up there. No, I got fucking meetings all day that day that oh, morning okay. yeah fair enough yeah i'm excited for it, man just to get get out and do some stuff so anyhow let me uh, let me hop back in here to the the anti-rules so we did alpha through alliances um you know any language any reprints you know old border so you can do the time shift stuff whatever and then uh you know the typical stuff like everything's pretty much restricted more than the banned i don't think i guess there's nothing really officially banned is there uh no because all the nope. anti-cards are illegal and you can have one of anything and then we this is more me i don't know if people will like it or not but uh i did do one factory one strip um what's some other specific stuff oh, those are probably the big ones maze of it i guess is that a one of no no you can no. you can run a grip of maze that might be a mistake that might be a mess because <laughs> that can get annoying um well, let me see uh i did i did allow mine to us so it's restricted i believe right then on here sure. Surely it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness. I was gonna say if we got a four mind twist format, Jesus, that's gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of made this uh yeah, and strip mine. So I don't know, the, the four strips cool and all that and four factories, but I just kind of get tired of that play pattern all the time. It sort of I don't know, kind of dictates the format, in my opinion, when you you know you gotta have you know, kind of, you got to watch your mana cost really close because you got to get to deal with all the strip mines and you got to run them because everyone's got all the factories. And so one of everything really opens up the rest of the decks and the other different archetypes. So 
I don't know if this is the ultimate all-time anti-rules, but I'm I'm kind of digging. I'm excited. I like the game so far. Everything I've played has been pretty cool. Uh, I did pull the Evan Moxes out, so I put them in my sideboard in case people have them because I like like using the Moxes, but you know it's not it's not unfair advantage if you got a freaking Ruby that does two damage for free. I mean that's kind of busted. You really can't just pull that on a stranger in a bar. It probably won't go well. Yeah, but then at the same token, you know, if you don't if you don't play them, then people can't win them. So. Well, this is true. So maybe I'm thinking maybe you offer them up in the ante, and then um, once they've won them, then it could slide one in or something like that. That's why I say I'm bringing them along. I'm going to have them there. So um, I'd like to make it happen, but they are a little busted. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I like that whole Alpha to Alliances set. There's just a lot of wild things. I mean, the yep. Stasis deck is really freaking good, though. God, when if you got. <laughs> Land tax is an orb, and then uh, the trade caravan. I don't know if you know that one. He's like a one-one for one, but every every two turns you can untap a land, so it's kind of a free stasis. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so you put a counter on each turn, you can remove two counters, untap a land, and you, you throw all those in. I don't think I've lost yet on that stasis deck. It's just it just you real quickly get full on lock and yeah, you know, boomerangs and the whole thing's dirt freaking cheap. It's awesome. But it does feel dirty to just zern orb into land tax whenever you need some lands, just sack it, gain a little more life, and yeah, it's hard to get through. If you're playing A to A ante, either you're playing some hate to remove zern orb, or you're playing zern orb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's... I run the those mox monkeys in like everything. Just you know, I had them in there for the the, the Evan moxes, but. You need, yeah, uh, without him, I still left him in there because I'm like, freaking Zern Orb, man. It's just so powerful. Just when you think you got it won, you're like, nope, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. So, yeah, I, I, think, I think Eric's got a deck he'll be jamming. And I was trying to talk him into maybe a second one to see if he wants, but yeah, we'll figure out some good anti stuff. Um, are you doing uh, the seven point singleton? Yeah, I'll, I got a seven point singleton together. Well, I don't I, tell me a little about it. I, I did pull it up to look at it. I, I don't know. I was glancing at the um, was this Alpha to Alliance's seven point or no? no. Okay, but I don't know. I was looking at the uh, the decks of the world championship 2023 and uh. I think every deck except one had red in it. <laughs> yeah, red? Yeah. They're, they're blue, white, or red. Some red variant. Because you get the, the the stock red is just so damn good. Because you get you know, bolts, chains, fissures, shiv and dragon. Um, I mean, there's just so much good stuff in red. So incinerate, falling star, fireball. Um, everybody seems to run a granite gargoyle. I like the singleton side of that because, like, you can sit down with the same opponent, the same decks, and then have a completely different game. Uh, round two versus round one, after a quick shuffle, both decks play completely different. It's like sitting down to a new, new deck, new game. That's true. Absolutely, I can see that. This guy went mono red, so he got into like balloon brigade and a few of the. You know, they sort of built themselves because the card pool small. Yeah, but, that was uh, my problem. I, I sat down to build a deck, and, like, I got bored in the middle of, like, trying to build the deck. And yeah, that's kind of been my Then style. I was like, well, if, I, if I'm this bored to building one, then this could be boring. <laughs> or this could be terrible playing it, so. I, d I do love a theme. That's kind of my thing when I'm building it. I like to make something happen, and you really can't do that very well in Singleton, so. But I, I like the... Kind of the commander aspect, the variety, the you know, like you say, the, the every game is going to be a little bit different. But uh, man, a lot of the usual suspects. I was looking through these things. I hear somebody pulled in an amnesia. That's a nice upgrade. But looks like blue, white, or red, blue, red, black. Those are your options. 
Yeah, I didn't go with any of this. <laughs> you're you're on green black, if I was to guess. Yep. Yeah, that's what I like. I was gonna say I don't see that anywhere. I was just looking looking through all these <clears> things. Yeah, that's my jam. Man, my yeah, my green black anti deck is really strong because I'm doing all all kinds of land destruction and get the addition of the ice age uh, land destruction and man, it's it's also a good one. It's kind of that Dave Firth bard like low to the ground. I got some beat to hell Pendle Havens for like eight bucks. Uh, that's a that's Can't a strong one. <laughs> wait, say that again. I said I can't wait to take some pieces out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm available anytime. Yeah, I don't. Should I bring a cube? I don't think so. We ain't gonna have time to do any of that crap. I was, yeah, I was probably gonna, not. I bring too much shit. We just run out of time. Let's say anti decks and the singleton. If you bring a singleton, it'll be enough for Friday. Yeah, I probably got my two my two brews. I don't know which one I'm running on s Saturday, but I'll bring those two, and I might just have to bring my entire backpack of anti decks. Well, you got to remember that place turns into a Latino dance club at ten o'clock. Yeah, is it ten or eleven? I forget what it is. But <laughs> I don't. One of the two. One of the two. Here's a green black. What do they got? All right, Daryl. Just oh, he just splashed a Daryl and a Guardian Beast. And that's it. Damn. I mean, if you're gonna splash a black card, I guess Daryl is the one to do. Daryl is the splash we ever saw one, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is. I mean, it looks cool. I mean, I I, I wish it was just straight uh, like X point or whatever. I like that a lot better. Where they're Limited in just the powerful cards and that I'm that I'm into. I kind of wish there was a uh, Alpha to Alliances X point kind of thing to kind of like knock down Necro and a few of the main culprits of that. Not enough people play Alpha to Alliances, but it'd be kind of a cool. Um, maybe someone should do that. I would I would enjoy them doing that work for me. <laughs> Sounds like something we can <laughs> test run. Because, yeah, I mean, the same thing, you're going to, you know, you're going to find a few of the key powerful cards from Ice Age or whatever. But there's a ton of crap when you start getting into alliances and and just these, I mean, those are huge sets. It takes forever to even just leap through them all. And that opens I mean, a that, ton of stuff up. Well, the Anthe is a good place to kind of get a feel for it, too. I mean, the Alpha 2 Alliance is Anthe. Just, I mean... We've had necro decks and all that stuff come around. I've I've won two necro potents so far. I need to win two more. Come on, Jason. <laughs> My uh, Juniper Order Advocates uh, showed up for the uh, my Fallon deck. Yeah, it looks a lot stronger uh, in I'm that format. You. I'm gonna say, I'm telling you, that Juniper Order Advocate bitch, she's hot. So. You can run an alder of bone and just go get her whenever you need. It's green white. You can hang out on my altar of bone. <laughs> She's a hottie. Uh. Yeah, because I did throw in the other thing that's really good in that is Fair Elise's wins. So that's whenever a permanent's tapped, uh, you get a counter on it, and then it doesn't untap next turn if there's a counter. So oh. when you got like, you know, fogs every two or three turns and they try to do the alpha swing and then you fog it and then the next turn they can't untap anything i feel like that's a good there's, there's a lot of things that can pollute the the deck down but i had to throw one of those in there because it just would make it mindlessly endlessly frustrating to try to get through all this yeah <laughs> i'm thinking about just like because i don't have i'm not going to build a singleton deck because that just sounds miserable but uh you know I've, I've only got my one anti deck and i'm getting kind of tired of playing it but i've got like i don't know 40 or fifty thousand like pre-modern 
just cards sitting here in a box that I haven't gone through. So I'm thinking about just like pulling out a color and just building a deck out of this bulk shit that's just sitting here. And it'll probably never win, but the whole point is just cards that I can draw dicks on when I lose them. So <laughs> that that's the main point of the entire format, really. I mean, yeah. So. What did uh, did did we talk about the the chaos orb that got uh, altered on here? I've been not that I recall. I don't know. So I out of lo- at LobsterCon, you know, Mike Franz lost that unlimited chaos orb and drew dicks all over it. And oh then, yeah, uh, we talked about that. Yeah, and now they altered it into a nice family friendly card and it just i mean chaos dong <laughs> would have been i would have much rather seen chaos dong show up 10 years from now and it, it just makes me sad that that's now gone so they they covered up all the dicks yeah they, they covered the dicks up and made this i mean cool ass altar i'll give it that but i mean this this thing was legendary it was well. i mean I'm, it's so sad to me. It like def- defeats the purpose. I quit, boys. I, yeah, I know. I've now, was... now realized that this is not my community. I, I don't fit in with these people. Yeah, and it's not <laughs> like your family is going to freak out when they walk by and see a, some small dicks drawn on an orb and it says dong on top. I mean, you can do that in front of grandma. It's fine. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but whose family is even looking at these cards anyway? Yeah. I, like, they just turn and run whenever. I'm like, yeah. Like, I don't care. Yeah. Kids, wife, whatever. They're like, these fucking cards. Just get them the, back in the basement. Don't look at them. Yep. That's uh, that's where I'm. Same results here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, it uh, made me sad. I mean, I think. I guess I get it, but man, to me it was priceless. I, I don't know what I would have paid for the the shitty altered yeah. dong. Or I mean, I'd have probably I'd have traded my unlimited straight up for it just to get it. Just the piece of history, you know. I mean, now, like that's the whole thing with anti. The whole thing with anti is, yeah, you could win a cool card, but it's going to have a dick drawn on it. Yeah. And so that was like the that was the chosen one. There are a few awesome, awesome altars. You see these things, Steven? Oh, yeah, the Summer of Altars. Yeah, MG Alter. You know, like he went to town on some stuff. Really cool. There was a Wheel of Fortune. Can't zoom in on it very well, but it's pretty bad. This thing here is pretty amazing, too. It's like an abyss with a Salvador Dali type thing on it. I mean, really cool. I don't know the hell. Yeah, I did see that. That thing's wild. And I like this guy. This is definitely uh, just a flesh wound from Black Knight. So yeah, that'll be our next topic I want to get into here. But yeah, I just kind of every now and I go to the just cruise through the uh, the altar section just to see what's what's out there. And there's always some mind blowing shit. But yeah, this one here. I, I wish I could zoom in on it better, but that <laughs> this wheel of fortune. Oh, that's all awesome. spelling out. Fuck your hand. <laughs> <laughs> on the Wheel of Fortune TV show. <laughs> I do like that. The thing's amazing. So, yeah. I don't know where, where you get your hands on something like that. But, uh, that's a good one. Well, hey, it's that time of year again. So, next topic, we're gonna. I think we're going to try to do our uh, deck photo contest again. So, um Anyone listening that has, hasn't heard of this, we've done it two other times. We asked the community to submit a deck photo of a deck. We don't really play it. We just judge it based on aesthetics and the content and the thought that went into it and that kind of thing. So um, I think the theme for this, this year that we're going to try is... Uh, make a deck that's either based around like a movie or a commercial or something like that it's gonna be tied to some kind of uh you know kind of the uh, you know wizards is currently bringing in all these uh well, the different ips or whatever so um 
right now, I'm telling you, if you submit a Lord of the Rings deck with the one ring in it, we're just throwing that shit straight out. So <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> we don't we don't need the ones that are currently out there with all the uh, the secret layers. But I, I think it'd be good, kind of fun to um, see what people can come up with because it's been done before. Uh, we've had some pretty cool um, Monty Python was like one of the good ones from last year. Um, they put together a good deck photo on it. Um, there's a lot of, I don't know. So we're, we're going to go alpha through alliances again, since we're on this, uh, alpha alliances theme and that opens up a ton of crazy arts too. So, um, there is a lot of shit in ice age and alliances. That's not an old school. If you're looking for that perfect, uh, bear art or something like that, like, I was flipping through. You guys seen Cocaine Bear yet? No, no. not yet. Pretty good. Is, it's not is it bad. Worth watching. I mean, if you're the kind of guy that watches a movie called Cocaine Bear, then yeah, you'll enjoy it. I mean, <laughs> it's <laughs> the the whole premise is this bear does cocaine. So, <laughs> wasn't it like a true like like not the thing? But wasn't there like a real bear that got like? just completely jacked up on cocaine and they had to like put it down um i feel like that's probably made up to hype the movie but i don't know maybe i don't know for some reason i don't know i'll just let the viewers google it on their own i don't know well don't let the truth interrupt a good story man come on yeah no time for that now but I'm, i'm pretty sure that that was like a real thing like there was just a fucked up bear running around and they had to like put it down because it was on drugs uh, yeah, there's a lot of corny stuff that uh you know in the movie but it's basically like a plane loses its cocaine shipment and you know everyone's running around trying to find it find it you got the good guys out there you got like camper it's all the typical shit but the bear tears it needs people up it's pretty good But yeah, I did think that's a good movie theme. Like I was like, yeah, you could really. So where is I was trying to figure out a good way to share some arts on here. Um... Oh, so it is so. Okay, so there was a, a drug smuggler who dropped a giant like thing of cocaine out of his plane. And a bear got into it and overdosed and died. Okay, so it, there we go. So it didn't go crazy or whatever, but it was there, was close. A, there was a bear that, uh, there was a cocaine bear. Okay, well, that's good. As long as it's somewhat based on some truth, that's all we need. Yeah, yeah. How did you find that? I just, you just Googled go- cocaine bear? I Yeah, I typed in like cocaine bear true story. Okay. <laughs> learn these tricks for, for later so i so uh steve what i mean i assume do we in i think we want to encourage um uh, alters too right so if people want to alter to to get a theme going yeah absolutely because i've kind of good I mean, have you, have you ever, like, fully altered a deck to hold a theme? I've seen several of them out there. I don't know if you've done that yet or not. Or No, I haven't done a full deck yet. There's a, one I'm working on just kind of extending the art to be the everything but the text box. I'm, like, 70% done with it. Almost finished. Damn. Yeah, so we got, like, a uh, you know, burnt offering you could do was the Wicker Man with, uh, what's his name? I mean, I, just, I feel I feel like if you're gonna really go in on a deck photo, and and you're really gonna go in on making a deck for, you know, Halloween or whatever it is, you pretty much have to alter it at this point. Because like I feel like everything with a picture has already been done. Like I don't, unless, I don't know. So I was looking at Soul for a Spring. I really wanted to do something with that, like hot tub time machine or. Something like that. I don't know. There's there's some options. Um, there's also kind of like a uh, almost like a housewives theme or something. 
I, I feel like you could pick some crazy shit and then like just put a end up building a deck around that concept too. So um that's not the cocaine bear. Well, there was a really good cocaine bear one. I'm trying to think of what the hell. It might have been an alliances card. It was just like a oh the hell is that? God damn it. I was just glim- glimpsing through some stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's all the Halloween movies and things. Um, but I don't know. The, the ones that have blown me away, the deck photos in the past, have been like the the good altruist that kind of spent a little time. You know, Broster had a crazy one. Uh, there's been some really cool ones where they almost, either they alter the entire deck or the majority of it, or they've got a bunch of cool stuff in there. I mean, I... We could definitely, there's definitely like a Jaws theme. There's a Pirates theme. What's this? What are these guys doing here in Naked Singularity? That's uh, is that uh, the end of um, Poltergeist? Poltergeist, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm hoping people get creative here. So, and I don't know if we got to set a deadline. I got to get some rules typed up, get it sent out to folks. Um, and that, that poor stuffy doll, he he's in all kinds of things. Yeah, that poor guy. So, I mean, there could be some infomercials. Um, so, I don't know. I would recommend unsleeving it so we can see it. I mean, that's one of the things I just hate, like a glare. So, you got to, in general, you got to have a good good theme going on. Um, yeah, so this like kind of looked like... She made me think of like a housewives deck, like New Jersey housewives or something. I don't really watch those shows, but I'm sure they're out there. When you put the entire card pool together, there's a lot of a lot of options. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be Alpha Two Alliances, right? Yeah, Alpha Two Alliances. So all all the sets in between, and even Homelands has some great art too. There's some crazy stuff in there. Now, if you I, yeah, I think if you pick an obscure movie or something, you gotta at least tell me. Don't don't make me guess because some of these guys will go deep on some stuff I don't know anything about, and be like I don't know what the hell this is. It's some weird porno or something, you know. And or maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the thing. They don't tell us. And then they we don't tell we us, and we gotta identify. It yeah, see see if they've done such a good job that we can figure it out. Well, I think we could post that somewhere and maybe have people do it, but someone's got it now. Um, right? I mean, All they right. could... I don't know. They could send it... I, shit, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Take two no, pictures. that's what we're here to do. Oh, we're here to figure this thing out. Take two pictures. Ooh. One with uh, one with the, the name of the movie, like, face down, or without the name of the movie, and then take another picture with the name of the movie on it. And then just title the... The images, spoiler and a non-spoiler, and then we'll figure it out. Well, that'd be badass. Yeah, I like where you're going with this. I think you get into multiple arts with some of this stuff too. Mm-hmm. Jaws. <laughs> oh, so I thought this chick kind of reminded me of the chick from uh, Fast and the Furious, the Royal Herbalist. But I was trying to figure out the rest of the crew. From Fast and the Furious. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I kind of so, get her. And there's got to be a good Vin Diesel, right? But so what's the one guy? Um, the one, the guy from the first one that died. He could be like Headless Horseman. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dave Walker or something like that. Yeah. Whatever his name was, Paul Walker. Paul Walker. This is sorry. Yeah. Uh, who could be Vin Diesel? Um, I don't know. There's got to be a Vin Diesel somewhere. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, oh, shit, isn't there... For some reason, I'm thinking there's some kind of alliances card with some, like, bald guy. Uh, shit, I can't remember. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's not many cars, unfortunately. I mean, that, you'd be missing that piece of it, but... I mean, be Fast and the Furious, like, 14, like... Back in the Roman times, time travelers. <laughs> yeah. This guy's a little Vin Diesel. I, I, can't e- I, I can't even tell you who else is in Fast and the Furious. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you'd have to go. 
The Rock's usually in there, isn't he? Like always fighting him or something. Oh, I don't is, know. Is The Rock in it now? I he's been in it for a little bit, I guess. I mean, there's some Conan the Barbarian, different things like that will be good. I just don't want a bunch of uh, secret layers. I want stuff that the corporate would never approve of. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I know that there's good Vin Diesel. There's like a card. It's like a dude that's like bald. He's got an earring. Shit. Oh, I know which card you're talking about, too, and I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, it's like from Alliances or something. Yeah. It's not Joven, is it? No, no, Joven, he's just a jolly old fella. Uh, Joven drives a Toyota Tercel. He doesn't yeah, drive yeah, he's, he's <laughs> He ain't real whipping around enough. <laughs> Little fast car. Uh, where, how do I get to, oh, there it is, sets. Uh, Alliances. I think it's a red card. I'll find it. I'm flipping through alliances here as we talk. Probably not the greatest podcast content, but I'm no. looking for things to jump out at us here. Maybe it's not a red card. And, and the problem is it could be one of like four art or something too, so I might not even see it. That is the yeah. tricky part. You got to... I mean, the Balduvian Horde's probably part of the Vin Diesel clan or the. Yeah. I'll have to I'll have to play Balduvian Horde in my uh, anti deck because that is ripe for drawing dicks all over it. <laughs> um... Yeah, is that, is that how you pick <laughs> you pick your cards? It's just like yep. Death Spark would be a great if there was a dick she could do his head. <laughs> I, I should play that in my deck. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's how I'm gonna pick. Uh, that's how I'm gonna build my deck. So any card with an open mouth or a half closed hand, uh, watch out. <laughs> Who's this guy? What movie is this? This almost looks like. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I've always thought he was out of place. The seasoned tactician. Seasoned tactician. I don't even know. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's like John. Where... It's like John Candy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Buck. <laughs> Uncle Buck. Yes. Get it, Uncle Buck. I don't know, there's got to be the perfect. I don't know. Judging it would be kind of hard too, because the like someone will find the perfect theme, and then just every every freaking card will hit. So this guy right here. No, but that's the front runner. <laughs> that, that could be the rock chasing him or whatever. I yeah. Um, yeah, that guy's pretty intense. I don't even know how to pronounce that card. Oh, man. Thought Lash? God, that is perfect for a dick. Oh, um, the, the big one? The big mouth on one Thought yeah. Lash? Is... Yeah, well, you just it would be going in one end and just exploding out of the back of her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. We better get to get up there early. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of cards to lose. Yeah. You'd be running like six lands. Just <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do with this. Like the ultimate, uh, I'll bring this and alter the case with a big dick on it. And you somehow got there? somebody... It's just a stupid graded thought lash. Like who in the fuck... Let me see that again. I mean, hang on. I'm sorry. I was, I was looking at the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. 9.5. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. If you do a dick on 9.5 uh, thought. There you go. Good. There's a 9.5 thought lash. And we'll, we'll see you on the Discord. I cleared it off with a magic eraser. Yeah. I buy all these collections off people. And, like, you know, I was expecting just to in this lot of cards to get a thought lash. And then it's graded 9.5. And I'm like, this fucking sucks because now I got to figure out what to do with it. I mean, the Balduvian War Makers, that's got to be a movie somewhere, right? 
the Jack Black and the guy from The Hangover and this guy with the little weird gimpy arm. That's, yeah, that is some those are some art. those are some low budget tattoos on those guys. I would expect more out of them. <laughs> just just draw a, a zigzag lightning yeah. bolt. Just That's put a it. fucking circle on my face. Yeah, yeah. do that. Draw an extra nipple here right below my shoulder. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, this guy's hardcore, though. You get the dotted line and the... Man, it's like they're really jamming him in there. Mike Kimball. That's not an artist name you hear a lot of. Yeah. I think that might explain why. <clears throat> and then, uh, Stephen, are we supposed to play our decks that we make then? Is that also part of the plan? Uh, I think we are. Could open it up to anyone that wants to come to Cincinnati, which is usually a pretty small crowd, but who's this lure guy from? I just love that art. I don't know what the hell he was or Julio. A... It's kind of like a weird atog. Looking yeah, kind of. Yeah, he's more scaly. But yeah. Fish hook is ripping him apart. Love that art. You can do some hunting theme. You can do caribou and a that, little creepy so children. I that art for spectral shield. I hate that so much. Wait, did I pass it? Spectral yeah. shield. Up. Where is it? Up? It's a gold card. Below Skull Catapult. Oh, this thing here. Okay, sorry. That art is so terrible. It's like a record album from the 80s or something, yeah, right? Isn't it it like looks an album like, cover? Yeah, it looks like somebody just like photocopied their face and then taped it to a magic card. That is pretty bad. It's got these cheesy stars in the hand. Yeah. Who is that? Who did that? Who the fuck? Margaret Morgan Keen. Hmm. That is, yeah, that's, that is wild, man. Now I'm looking at this. This is like a David Bowie extra album cover or something. I mean, even in the 90s, if you like commission some art, it's like, let's get a, some art for Spectral Shield. And then that came across your desk. It's got like, the mouth of Is it like licking something? I don't know. God, like, the more I look at this, the more disturbed I am. It's terrible. It's really bad. Sorry, Margaret O'Houlihan. <laughs> yeah, you should have just didn't want to be Margaret Oregon. Huh? I couldn't let that Oregon name go. I'm gonna... is... I wonder that what other is cards... wild. Yeah, I wonder what other cards they've ever done. This is. This podcast has just completely gone off the rails. Oh, it is awful. I'm <laughs> gonna say I didn't have a plan. I just knew we needed to get some content and I said, damn it, let's get it out there. And then we gotta figure out I'm working too much, like everybody else. Got no freaking time. Steven's oh, shit. making stamps. Shit old Margaret did Amulet of Krug. Sure Autumn that. Willow. Oh yeah. Ivory Tower? What? How do I not know all these things? Yeah. I'm like looking through here. I'm like, these are like cards that I should know. Uh, Spore Flower, Thelonite Druid, Martyrs of Cor Corliss. Dang. Good Done stuff. Done all kinds of stuff. Done all kinds of stuff. So what the fuck? She phoned it in for Spectral Shield. Well, she was probably doing an <laughs> album cover for for somebody and then accidentally sent the wrong art in. And they're like, well. Yeah. She's done it before. She must know what she's doing. Let's use it. Deadline. There's probably somebody that'll be out there that's like... Oh, somebody that may hate this. Like, writing my name down on a list. Yeah, how do you... Like, how do you not know? Ah, fucking hmm. Margaret Oregon Keene. What was those really bad snow movies? Isn't it like some kind of snow dogs or something? I'm sure there's some atrocious flicks out there that you could pull in that would be on theme. Oh yeah, you could do uh what was that what was that movie? Jack Frost? 
Oh, yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Who are those? The no man comes up. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. Girl. I wouldn't hate on somebody for doing Pawn Stars or something, you know? Uh, <laughs> just... <laughs> well, I think we'll throw a playability pretty much out the window, except that we're going to try to play games with whatever we come up with. So um, we might be the only like eight or ten people that even make a deck, but it's the meta photo. But anyhow, we're going to. Ooh, that. Tremors. Close. Grammars, yes. The Gunthal. Gunthal Worm? I don't know how you say that. Is that how you say that? I don't know. That's how I said it when I was like playing this card, because I played the shit out of this thing. 6-6. Six, six. No one's going to block it. I'm six. from Eastern Kentucky, so it was just Jodel Worm for us. That's probably right. <laughs> My God, you got that Jodel Worm. Shit. Jodel Worm's badass. <laughs> And here you are. Oh, yeah, it's Gunther. What the fuck? I don't know. Don't ask me, dude. I can't. <laughs> can't spell my own name, man. I'm not, I'm not. I shouldn't be doing this shit. Podcasting and speaking. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's happening on aggression there? I don't know, but that's pretty badass. I'm into aggression. Rick Edmund nailed it on this thing, because... She's got this like bloody banana and a knife in one hand. Is she feeding the guy banana so he'll help her out? Or I have no idea what's happening in that order. I don't know, but you could order the hell out of a dick on that thing, man. Yeah, that's true. Target non wall creature gains first strike and trample. At the end of the turn, this control destroys that creature if it did not attack. Ooh. Of course, so, the low, low cost of three <laughs> fucking mana. <laughs> well, you could pay it under your opponent's non-wall creature, and then you could be playing walls, and then I don't, yeah, I don't know why you would ever do this. Yeah, that sounds. You could have royal assassin out. I mean, it's a good yeah, combo that's, with royal assassin. That's true. Or you could just probably him hiding right back here. That's royal yeah. hiding in the corner. But it's like a automatic like. So you play that enchantment on your opponent's creature, and then you kill your opponent's creature. You're just like one for one. You're not really oh, gaining yeah. any advantage. Yeah, but when you lose it, the dick you could draw on that thing is yeah, that's true. Worth I forget the, about that. It's worth forget it. You're forgetting the the theme <laughs> of your own anti deck. You're building. Yeah. Nice horse. Venomous oh, breath. That could be a big old dick. Some <laughs> shit coming out of it. <laughs> I thought I'm trying to I'm trying to heterosexual it up a little bit, getting too much hate, and draw more <laughs> boobs on things, <laughs> more boobs and ass, less dick. Shit. That's that's my theme. Oh man, it's 2023. Just bring on the dick. It's true. I I gotta gotta get more woke. I'm, whatever that means, I need to do more of it. <laughs> That guy from that green card up there looked like he likes the dick. No, I just thought this guy was interesting. The uh, Kajoran Elite Guard. Because he, he's got, like, I mean, really manly looking, but super femme with the big blue cloak and the little tiny f uh, wings. Yeah. Know, this guy's got conflicted sexuality, I'm pretty sure. Like, I always just didn't, like, like think about the, like, the logist not the logistics, but the practicality of that fucking helmet. Like, <laughs> how's that even on, staying on your head? Yeah, what, what do you need to protect? The yeah. majority of my lower arms, <laughs> my belly button, and just the tip of my head. I mean, you turn your head too quickly, and that thing is going to snap your fucking neck. Doesn't even have he's open toed shoes, so you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> all I gotta protect is just the top of my skull. That's yeah, the only thing I'm worried about. Do? It's plus two, plus two. And if that creature leaves play, bury it. Bury this guy. Yeah, so he Oh well that makes sense. So it explains it in the flavor text. The winged helms are put on for pageants, but taken off for war. So it even says, "Oh wow, well, even even these he... fucking things don't work." <laughs> <laughs> I take the damn helmet off. 
slide it in your crotch to protect yourself because you're yeah this seems very odd to choose bracers like the biggest bracers you can and then just wear an open animal skin for your the rest of your protection yeah that's his that's his pageantry card you know, i said you boost your bucks for a thousand bucks why does that almost sound appealing to me? I don't know. I mean, there sounds sounds pretty good. Did you hear about the uh, the the streamer guy that opened a box? Oh, the box of unlimited. The box of unlimited. Yeah, I didn't hear a lot of details other than it, it was, was like... a it was a starter deck. He he opened it was this guy named Pay Bunny Wubby, and he okay. opened a starter deck of unlimited, and it was fake. Or it was it wasn't fake, but it was uh, it had been messed with. It'd been like repacked or something yeah, like that, right? Yeah, there was like no rare in it or something. Which back then, I don't know if that was repacked or not, because apparently they like just like, you know, when they were when they were packing the cards back then. At least the story I heard is you just had like an old lady there, and you had like a bucket of rares, a bucket of uncommons, and a bucket of commons, and you just grabbed however many. That's why you could like, uh. You know, somebody that knows the print sheets, if they open a pack of like revised or alpha or beta or any of that, they'll be like, oh, that's uh, there's an unsummoned. So the next card's going to be a binless hero. And then the next card's going to be a uh, unholy strength because everything's in order of how they were cut off the print sheet. Yeah, the good old days, man. But anyway. Yeah, th then there was like the theory that maybe he did it just to get more uh, more reviews, which would be pretty cool. Hey, maybe. If you're going to buy sealed stuff, like, I don't know. It's. But it would have been funny if like someone pulled that scam like 25 years ago on his buddy to like make 20 bucks. <laughs> it just like got passed around for yeah. years and just kept going up and up and then. Uh, eventually, this guy cracks it and jokes on him. I know Legends boxes were uh, like at one point they were like seventy thousand dollars, and now they're down to like thirty. So that's what you need to buy for your for your business. When they walk in, not only do you have the the symbol, but you got like a sealed booster box. Nice. Yeah, that'd be business expense. Put that in the lobby for a business expense. I like that. Yep. Yep. I'd go in on the Ice Age box for like a Christmas draft. I know that'd be cool as hell to I mean a thousand bucks doesn't doesn't seem like I don't know. I mean I uh, guess there's no no real value and what are you gonna pull? It's just a bunch of shit that nobody wants. Everything's twenty cents or whatever, but still that'd be fun know. as hell. We'd have a damn good time, yeah. Yeah. Cool to do it. Something to think we about. need to buy a buy a booster box of like boosters and a starter brick and do like a big sealed thing with it. Yeah, I liked when we did that kind of over this over a season or like over a summer. You just kept getting more and more cards and building them into your deck or whatever. That'd be kind of a cool thing for 2024. Oh, look at this guy, Unibomber. Mm-hmm. Something that always bothered me about that art is like the 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 forest and all the things. There's a lot of detail, but then like the face just looks derpy as fuck. It's like that was like <laughs> at the very end they're like, oh shit, I got to submit this, but I haven't put the eyes on this guy, and they just put two dots. Just with two story. dots, dude. Two, that's <laughs> yeah. They spent all the time like, what? Oh shit, this is due tomorrow. All right, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Know, I think there's a lot of good opportunity here. I have to. I don't know what we're gonna do for a prize. I usually, I've been making one of those deck boxes uh, out of an old Fallen Empires or something. I don't know if I have time to do that. Doing too much shit. A lot of horses. Could definitely do a horse theme. White horses, unicorns. I don't know. I don't know many unicorn horse movies though. What was that movie? I remember when I was a kid, there was some movie about a horse that would jump into a pool and then it like broke its leg. What the fuck was that? How old are you, dude? I don't know. I never heard I of it. I don't know. 
some movie about some like carny that would just run and jump her horse into a pond. I don't know. I don't know. See, I, I I wish I could just do like Steve Martin the Jerk as a movie. Like, but there's just not enough things. Dude, I've, I've I don't know that, that is theme. <laughs> that that guy that we were talking, John Candy or whatever, who's holding a bunch of things. He kind of looks like the. All I need is this map. This lamp. Yeah, I need, that's all I need. And this ashtray. All I need is this ashtray. And this I don't lamp. need nothing else. This guy. Ooh, that That's might be cool. another that might be Clancy too. We need no more Clancy. <laughs> no more. I'm putting the end of that shit. I just wake up some nights in a cold sweat thinking of that damn image. It's not good. But he does look like Clancy too there on the Yeah, uh, he looks like he's seen things. Aaron he's just like of staring duty. off. He yeah, he's just shell shocked look like I've I've done things I've seen things. I've done things I've <laughs> I've shown enthusiasm <laughs> it's not helped me it's yes. not helped one bit oh uh, interesting card I don't see I kind of like that thing just flash in a one one with banding instant speed that's kind of cool how much does it cost two mana just for one white, white and one for one one white creature token with banding. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, because, I mean, you can band it and then take all the damage on something. Yeah, you can block and just kill the thing, and then you're like, fucking force nature or whatever survives. Yeah. And gross in the bloodlust, and you're like, oh, I'll just band it and send it all to him. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Could this guy be in Fast and Furious? The uh, the fevered strength dude? No, I don't know what's going on there. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, there's definitely some bodybuilders and some. I don't know. Don't make me watch some weird like. I mean, cause I'm I'm up for watching a movie if I haven't seen it and someone goes the effort to make a deck around it, I'll probably commit and sit down and watch it, but. Don't make me watch something horrible. Good God, what about John Wick, man? It's a lot of mm. feast and famine, uh, John Wick kind of shit. I mean, that'd be a good one. Why do I never really notice these other hands going around here? That's kind of cool. I just thought there was a they were holding him down on feast and famine with a knife, but there's like an extra pair of super creepy hands. No oh, man, they're they're. Zombies. They're about to feast, yeah. They're facing him. They're gonna face him. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't know. For prizes, I don't know. I could probably come up with something uh, to donate or something like that. You get some glory. Donate to your charity, $222 or whatever. The... <laughs> You were talking about work. We got a work plan. We're going to, Eric and I are working on. So, you know, our, we're a company. We sell like those big ass vacuum systems and we wanted to do videos of vacuuming stuff up. But that's kind of boring, right? Like no one really wants to watch you just vacuum stuff up. So we realized the the, the true value in, in making a good video is to destroy something and then back it up. Because Eric's, oh, okay. Eric's just got a brand new freaking samurai sword that's like seven feet long. Yeah. Like, we could just like, slice right through a bag of dog food hung from a you know the ceiling and then slow motion and it hits the ground and explodes and then we vacuum it up or uh um uh, i'm gonna get a piggy bank i built this giant war hammer years ago that's in uh brandon's office and we're just, just take the giant hammer and just smash shit so we got a couple of gopros so we're just gonna break things or destroy them and then clean them up i mean that sounds i think it's gonna be fun as hell i'm excited sounds about reasonable it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's gonna result in zero additional new business, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun as hell, man. Smash and suck. The alliance boosters. Oof. Twenty six hundred. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's a little harsh. It's un uncommon uh force of wheels. Yeah, that's true. But that car everything's down though, right? Yeah, force of wheels are like 
what, like 50 bucks now? They used to be 100? Yeah, I mean, I got one in my anti deck. It's not even that cool anymore. Now I'm just a spike for having it. Yeah. Is this guy getting attacked by his own? Uh, uh, no, he, it's just his cloak is flying away here in Avalanche. Yeah. I think I can that get doesn't... away with putting this on my shirt and saying it's a Bengals shirt. Team spirit. I mean, I'm trying to think, like, how how practical is it to be wearing, like, full plate armor walking up a mountain in the snow? That seems like a really bad oh, idea. Yeah, the cold would just travel through. And then the only warm thing on his body is on the outside of the steel plate. Yeah. That's purely for flexing, just for looks. Yeah. And then he's going to get avalanched, and he's going to be too heavy to get out. So that guy is just <laughs> fucked. <laughs> so many ways. Yeah. Not just his fashion sense, but <laughs> entire reason for living. Oh, so the Ice Age starters are 1400 So for the low, low price of 2500 we could do a, a sealed league that nobody would play in. <laughs> Man. <laughs> this is tempting. Uh, I keep looking at these cards, just trying to think of movies. I don't know. I I I, I don't know if we've inspired anybody or just terrified everyone. But uh, <laughs> if we got past all the dick conversation, they'd be here. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing that's cool. So like this right here. So this is a piece of um, like slate. It's like stone. And one of the guys that made uh, that that I buy collections off of, he like made this for me. And so I was asking him if he could do other things. And so he's making me one with the ancestral recall guy on it. So he's gonna make like a stone oh, cool. thing with the. And I was like, dude, if you can. If you can like do a good job and get like old school, like iconic, like things from art onto these, I was like, I'd say there'd probably be a market for that. So if he, uh, if he does a good job on this ancestral recall, then you guys let me know what kind of card is like your favorite, and I'll have him make you a uh, one of these stone coasters. That's pretty, pretty cool. Bad- I mean, yeah, it. They're, they're pretty badass. It's some kind of like laser something. <laughs> You can even like set a four, so you can just do like you do the moxes, or I don't know if there's four of, but kind of cool. You can sell a little set, have around your house. That'd be kind of sweet. Yeah, whatever. He's he he just like bought this thing and he's like practicing, and uh, so he's just gonna like practice. I think I want the the, uh, the thing that's on disenchant that's being disenchanted. You know, it's like a weird disc looking thing, but it's oh not yeah rock. yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of like uh, Eric. I was gonna get see if he could like print one for Eric of like Crusade or something like that. I don't know, White Knight, whatever the fuck. I just never understood the chicken or whatever this thing was, but it kind of looks like it could be on a slate. And that would definitely be an inside joke if I just had that weird badass yeah. one-legged big dick chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. Yeah. So I'll see how the Ancestral Recall one turns out. And if it turns out good, then I'll have him make us some. It was pretty neat. Cool, man. Yeah. I like that. That way like you got, uh, you know, you got stuff, uh, you got a, some place to set your drink while you're playing Magic. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I just like having stuff around my house that people don't really understand what it is. And I'm in the inside joke on it's fun because you like buy cards from people and then you get to know them. Like this guy, he uh, he has like a part time job, like after work or whatever, delivering pizzas. And yeah. he uh, he apparently delivers a lot of pizzas to a card shop, and they just like tip him out in like collector booster packs. And then every month he just kind of sells me all the cards. So that's pretty sick. Yeah, so it's, it's, it kind of works out. So, yeah, I just want to read it. Have a cup is full of flies. That's not cool. 
Well, I don't know if we'll have time to get together again before next week. Probably not. Yeah, I really, I did not know that we were supposed to get together last week. Well, we kind of were, and then I ended up being out of town. I, I just threw the date out there. You think you said you could, oh. but like no one else could make it. Oh, it was. Well, uh, I, I ended up. Getting it wasn't out official, of and I, I just realized I'm like, shit. I never told Jason I wasn't coming, but yeah. uh, I don't think you made it, so it was all good. I, I ended up having to go out of town at last minute anyway, so I wasn't around last week anyway. But. I was supposed to go to Buffalo next week, but then it got canceled. But I don't know. You get your deck figured out for next week? Hey, me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing the thing that I was always okay. playing. I'm uh, <laughs> going to just destroy people's lands. Yeah. I was I was going to build, I was going to build like a, you know, we were talking about like a pro black tackle maggot. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I have not had time to mess with it. Well, I mean, you still got a little bit of time. No, I don't, because uh, between work and trying to uh, sell all these fucking cards, um, I I don't have any time. Rough. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get through all of my uh, like personal collection. You know, I got this like quarter million card personal collection that I'm trying to sell off. So it's just. It's a, it's a disaster around here. Let's see if I agree with this. The worst 100 movies of all time. Is that like Mortal Kombat 3? I'm real I'm curious what number that. one is. Baby Geniuses 2. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm some pretty to... bad shit. Jaws the Revenge. I like these have zero star reviews. Zero percent. <laughs> zero percent. No one has ever liked these movies. The Return to Blue Lagoon. I mean, no one liked that ever. Kevin Fever. Why do I feel like I like Kevin Fever? I don't know. I'm trying to <clears throat> I'm trying to see if I've ever actually seen any. Oh my god, the first one that I've actually seen. Highlander 2. Highlander 2. Does anybody just did anybody see Highlander 2? No. Did anybody see Highlander? Oh hell yeah. Yeah, make it as a series. Yeah, so Highlander 2, they they go in the future and the earth has been like fucked up, so they so they blotted out the sun and the earth is all dark. And Connor McLeod is an old man because you know he's not the highlander anymore because he won the prize um and then some aliens land and it turns high it turns connor mcleod back into the highlander he turns young again because you come to find out that all of the highlanders were actually aliens from another planet uh -huh. <laughs> and when the aliens land then now the game starts over again and then Highlander 2 was so terrible that Highlander 3 just pretended like that movie never even existed. Just, just skipped it yep. completely. Just yep, never. just never happened. Okay, well, I might have to watch that. I don't know, sometimes I get in, I, I get in the mood where I watch that shit, but um, I need something good. It's been too much garbage in a while. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Blood and Honey. That? This is a new movie. This is 2023. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> now, Bucky Larson, Born to be a Star, was not a 3%. I like that. Right, come on. Well, it's number 69. They're just pulling one on us. I have no idea what that even is. Who is Bucky Larson? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've not seen very many of these. So yeah, They're pretty bad. Yeah, these these are pretty bad. I'm hoping maybe I shouldn't inspire people to, or at to least do I'm assuming, vampires suck the the deck. At least I'm like assuming they're bad because I've never seen them. Speed but... two. They got back on the bus and it could yep. it kept going. <laughs> it's like oh no, this boat can't go more than three hour three miles an hour. <laughs> it's on a canoe with a, a bass <laughs> motor. <laughs> <It> just. <laughs> Can't stop. 
everybody just jumps off the boat <laughs> at the end. The end. Uh, well, we didn't see that coming. So I guess they they rank the all time worst movie as number one. They, they just was... led. They just led with number one: Ballistic Eeks versus Server. But this one missed call looks pretty badass. It's like an alien with a flip phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, left behind with Nicholas Cage. Uh, damn. See this? How do I make this a deck? I'm pretty sure that the movie's about uh, a bunch of people on a plane, and then the. The rapture happens, or whatever. <laughs> and then they oh, land the... and they're, they're, they just God missed them. Yeah, he didn't know uh, the people were in the he's air. He's like, "Oh, sorry, guys, I forgot you were up in a plane." Because John you know, the, there's only one Gotti. plane. There's only one plane up in the air at a time. So that's just true. That's crazy. The ridiculous six. Yes, <laughs> I don't get this shit made. God damn, this is so bad. Oh man! Return to the Blue Lagoon. I wonder if that one's got child porn in it. No, they're all old. They they really wanted to cover themselves. So everyone's in their eighties. Wasn't it? Wasn't but, Blue Lagoon the one that were like? What yeah, yeah. Was she was like, like way too young or whatever. Yeah, she was yeah. like fourteen or some shit. Yeah, yeah, and she was like naked the whole time. Yeah. And... Blue Lagoon too. Now the lead girl is nine. What? Uh, all about Steven, huh? Yeah, this is a whole different. I do, I do love a movie with the zero score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty impressive. Oh, there's from Justin to Kelly. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> I don't see hardly any magic cards matching any of this shit, though. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you're going to have to have some... Twisted was on the other one, so this must be pretty bad. I don't know what... No idea. Speed 2 <clears throat> made it again. Jack and Jill. Never saw that. I feel like I did, but it must be forgettable. Adam Sandler has had a few duds every now and then. Oh, yeah. They're not all hits. Fantasy Island in 2020. Damn, there's a girl. <laughs> this is someone's fantasy. Yeah. I want, a, I want a girl in a wheelchair that gagged. Meet the Spartans. Yeah, I think I tried to watch that. It was supposed to be like a comedy about Spartans. And I couldn't make it through that one either. A spoof on 300. Yeah, I remember actually not finishing that. Fuck is going on there? Master, Master of Scott looks like a winner. I can't believe this is a podcast. I'm gonna have to cut half this shit off. Just leave it in. Is staying alive 1983. Nina, you know, I was on the other list too. Yeah, so a few of these are crossing over. So yeah, I mean, we're giving uh, people valuable information. On yeah, you know, like movies. don't go watch Glitter 2001 with. Uh, so that's Mariah Carey. As Mariah a, Carey, yeah. Yeah. She's got some ad, good acting skills. I haven't seen Baby. any of these movies. You haven't seen Baby Genius? No. Come on. Should I? Super Baby Super Baby, Baby Genius. Baby Genius. <laughs> wow. They made a remake of the worst movie ever. Yeah. Wow. That's ballsy. Or a bit. Orbit, yeah, I feel Looks like that great. was pretty There was a Paul Bart Mall Cop 2? Straight to video. Yeah. When people were no longer watching video. Yep. Still on VHS. Man, that's some good stuff here. Scary Movie 5. Yeah, I feel like by the time you get into a 5 on a, on a scary movie, you're probably digging pretty deep. Yeah. Problem see, Child. See, I, I remember, remember why, that movie. Yeah, why do I feel like I didn't hate it? That was perfectly fun. 
What's wrong with me? It's zero percent. Like no yeah. one likes Problem Child. That was like a popular movie back in the day. Yeah. I mean, it's a wow. millionaire, probably. Yeah. It it was it scored worse than Geely. Geely. I know Geely was bad. Those Medina movies can be pretty tough too, man. I don't I don't follow them. Never seen. Never seen it. Never seen one? No. The Emoji Movie, you watch that one? That's a classic. Oh, we're no, out. I missed that one. Not even my fucking kids would watch that shit. <laughs> oh. Man, I, I know I'm going to get stuck. Wait, is this... Is that a Donald Trump? That's uh, a Trump, Trump George Abe Washington. Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, Abe Lincoln, Trump crossover. Nice. Wow. How did that... Huh. Man, that's some... I gotta go back and see that again real quick. That is insane. Bacon, oh, they, they got the, the, the riots on one side. <laughs> 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 I don't even understand if this... Is this a pro-Trump or an anti... I don't even understand what's going on. Well, it's called Death of a Nation. Oh, so, okay. I'm guessing... Probably not so much uh, like the start to the end of it, I guess, maybe. Yeah, it's so funny that like on the Lincoln side, you've got like the, you know, the Civil War soldiers doing stuff that's like patriotic and all that stuff. Gives you a sense of America, whatever history. And then on the other side, it's just a bunch of fat old MAGA people <laughs> breaking through a breaking through a window. I don't see much motivation here in the worst movies ever made. So that's good. I don't think. Freddy got oh, fingered. Freddy got fingered. <laughs> Screw you guys. That was a damn classic. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tom Green's top 20 movies. Yeah, fuck this internet stuff. That's why I don't ever go on here. Yeah. I mean, Paul Blart Mock Up 2's got a team of yeah. little people dressed as yeah. Kiss. How could yeah, this be bad? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this is very subjective. Friday the 13th, part 13. Uh, yeah, part 7. The new blood. The new blood. Ski Patrol is badass. Oh, God, these guys just don't understand good cinema. Yeah, well. Oh, Cannonball Run 2. Yeah, this was... I. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's on here. This was the worst movie I've ever seen. Was that the one that you said that? No, 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 no. Yeah, was... I, I couldn't handle it. It was so bad. And I just got done watching Cannibal War and Run 1. I think that's pretty good. I'll throw on two. And Burt Run was like on the ground and does a backflip onto an elephant. Just Is that the one that you were saying? Like Burt Reynolds was just like coked up the entire time? Oh, yeah. He's just completely smashed and like. Yeah. The, there's two politicians, and one overhears the other one saying that they're going to, like, get an elephant. And he's like, oh, I'm going to steal that. So he goes to Burt Reynolds, who is just a complete drunk, and he's just, like, staggering around like a little kid pretending to be drunk. And it, it I mean, I can't, you, you can't imagine going from one good movie to one so bad. It, it's just, none of it made sense. Hey, man. Dollars. Strange Wilderness was pretty badass, too. I like that one. Every time I, mean, I see that, uh, that I don't know, you see it everywhere. It's like Bigfoot, like world champion of uh, uh, hide and seek, still undefeated or whatever. It yeah. still makes me laugh. And I've <laughs> seen it forever. You know, some of those things get a little played out. Every time I see it, I still laugh. All good. Left behind. I'm going to have to watch that. Let's see if I can find that tonight. All right, guys. Anything uh, else magic related to this? <laughs> The Adventures of Pluto Nash. <clears throat> no. This guy's. No. I don't think so. I think I think this has been a solid hour and a half of uh, high this quality entertainment. I, I think we could just listeners. not. We could just. We're just gonna let our listeners down so bad. Uh, sorry, they can't all be winners. We're all working just, too hard, man. Just do the intro. And then immediately put it into the outro. And then at the end, <laughs> just say, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, and that was it. That was just a, <laughs> just a quick blip and you're done. Yeah. 
Well, all right, guys. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed something. Another, another, uh, another banging podcast. Um, yeah, and this might not be a banger. I don't know. I feel bad. Yeah, well, we'll see you at Thrash Bash. We'll see you at Thrash Bash <laughs> with my Bucky Larson deck. Take <laughs> 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 some right. shit up. All right, see you guys. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye.